All right, coach, coming off a of bye week where you guys were able to get some rest and see how the hockey standings and other hockey games have unfolded heading into a, this week, starting Thursday with Alaska Anchorage student only game in Toscano and then wrapping it up the week Saturday versus UNH. Just want to get your thoughts on into the week and Thursday student only game. Yeah, that should be really exciting. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what that crowd's going to be like tomorrow night with uh, all the students in the building. I think it's sold out in 12 hours, so um, it'll it it should be a, a fun atmosphere here tomorrow night against uh, Anchorage. All right, we'll open it up for questions. Joe, you want to get us started? Yeah, thanks. Morning, Cav. How are you? Good morning, Joe. I'm great. Yourself? Good, thank you. Um, what that went wrong? Well, first off, what was your what was the week off like? What did you do for practice and workouts and that kind of thing? Yeah, last week we did a lot of individual work, individual skills with kids, and um, trying to work on a lot of goal scoring. Uh, Joe, I thought that was probably the biggest issue we had uh, up at New Hampshire. You know, we're we only scored three goals on the weekend and, and you're not going to win a lot of hockey games if you're averaging one and a half goals a game. So it's an area where we really focused on getting pucks on net deflections, rebounds, creating opportunities to shoot the puck in, in uh, whether that's shooting through a defenseman's legs or stick, you know, all different scenarios on how to get pucks to the net. Was it good to have that week without having to prep for a game to kind of work on that that thing coming off the UNH? Um, you know, probably at this time in the year, it, it might have been okay. And now we, you know, gear it up and it's going to be every weekend until the season ends now. So it might have been pretty good for us. I'm hoping Thanks. it was. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Randy, we'll head over to you. Thanks, uh, Colin. Cav, what, what's unique about preparing for an Alaska Anchorage, an independent team? They have four wins against Western Michigan, UMass Lowell. Uh, but is, is there anything unique in preparing for an independent team that maybe your common opponents don't have such familiarity with? I don't know if there's anything unique about it. Um, the only unique thing is they haven't played in a little while. Uh but, you know, their last six games, uh, I think they're two, three, two and four, but the last three losses are all overtime games. Uh, and their other loss was one nothing. So, you know, and they played Lowell and they played Maine and they played Fairbanks and Fairbanks is, you know, top 20 team right now. So they're certainly playing great hockey and, you know, they I know that they're well coached. Uh, they get a lot of experience, you know, they've got some older kids, so it's going to be a, a really tough game for us. And with this being the stretch here, four games left, what's the sense you're getting just, uh, you know, maybe a common theme from the leadership in the locker room right now, uh, you know, based on where you are in the schedule and, and maybe even how, you know, things went last weekend, what their message is. Yeah, I, I think, at this time of the year, you just have to focus on playing your best hockey and it doesn't matter what's happened in the past. Uh, Cause pretty soon you get to a point where it's one and done. Right. So you really want to focus on playing your best hockey this time of year and not so much what's happened in the past or what could have, or what should have, or what would happen if this team does this or that scoreboard watching, we just got to focus on playing the best hockey we can play. And finally, uh, how are the guys feeling about the opportunity to play in front of their peers? You know, the student only game. It's it's a unique situation. Um, you figure it's a great opportunity to maybe get some some kids that maybe have never been to a hockey game before all along the ice bus, right? Like how is uh how's it feeling yeah. for the guys? I think it's great. I think it's gonna be uh like I said or, or in, earlier, it's gonna be an awesome atmosphere. Uh I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like tomorrow night. We've never had that since I've been here. Great. Thanks, Cav. See you tomorrow. Sure. Daniel, we'll head over to you. Another thing you haven't had playing Alaska, either of the Alaska teams is 
pretty unique. How did this game kind of come about and land on your schedule? Well, we needed a game and they actually, they, I think they reached out to Tyler or somebody and just said, you know, we're coming out to play Long Island. You guys have an opening in your schedule. And it just so happened that we did. The game was supposed to be played tonight, but, uh, you know, we moved it because of the basketball game and, and that's fine. I mean, it doesn't, it's not a big deal uh, either way. So it worked out pretty well that uh, they were coming out here and we're coming off a bye week and we were able to, you know, fit them into the schedule. John, we'll head over to you. Is that me? Yep, go ahead, John. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, okay, uh, Coach, I'm just with the uh, last few games coming up. Well, first I want to ask you, uh, what's it like having a non-conference game? You know, because the, the push has been, you know, Hockey East. Does it break up your momentum a little bit? I mean, it's such an odd time. I know Alaska Anchorage needs games, but it's such an odd time for a non-conference game. Does that, you know, affect, uh, you know, the way you're approaching these last few games? I don't think so. Uh, like this time of year, you know, um, you, you just got to play the games when they're on your schedule. We opened, you know, the season with a conference game, which not many mm -hmm. people do. Uh, every game is is really important. You know, when, when you have 34 games, and, and I try to tell uh, people all the time, the, the non-conference games sometimes are more important than the conference games. I mean, you look at Penn State right now, and they're a top 10 team in the country. They're either 500 or below 500 in their conference, but they're 10 and 0 in non conference games. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're the top 10 team in the country. So, you know, it, it's a very important game for us. And, and our team is, you know, taking it that way. And finally, with the, and obviously after Alaska Anchorage, it's Hockey East all the way. Um, what is going to be your approach in the last few games? Is it going to be all about getting the highest seed possible? Is it going to be an all out effort? Or are you going to try to give some guys some rest? Uh, no, we're going to play every game to win them. No one's going to be getting any rest. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't, I don't approach it really about where our seeding is or, or because, you know, yes, you know, would you, you'd like to get the buy that's for sure. And not have to play in the play in game, but then it doesn't really matter. You, you looking at the scores mm -hmm. when you're playing a one game tournament, uh, or a single elimination tournament, you know, anybody can beat anybody. So you, you've got to be prepared to, uh, you know, just be playing your very best hockey, as I said earlier, going into the tournament. That's our biggest focus right now. Thank you. Joe, sure. we'll head over to you. Thanks, Kyle. Cav, when you go through a weekend like you did up at New Hampshire, is there an inclination to try to shake the lines up at all? Yeah, sometimes I don't know if that was the issue as much um, up at New Hampshire. Uh, you know, I, I don't foresee us shaking them up a ton, uh, like going into the game. Maybe as the game goes on, if uh, I, I think things are stale, then we might. But, uh, you know, just because a line hasn't uh, maybe had a weekend, you know, I think Torberg's line had one goal, but they've been really hot before that. So I, I don't think you panic and break that line up. And uh, Shandor's line has been scoring goals every game. So I'm not sure we're going to break that line up, you know? Uh, so to answer your question, no, I don't, I don't foresee us shaking a whole lot up going into it. Sometimes you have those weekends where, uh, you don't score goals. Uh, the, the bright side of it was we didn't give up much either. You know, uh, besides the two empty net goals, you know, we give up two goals each night. That should be enough uh, to, to get some, you know, to win hockey games. Like, so I think it's just one of those weekends that certainly was frustrating, but we've moved on. And, uh, you know, I know our team, we're a very good offensive team, and we have the ability to score a lot of goals, and those are going to be our expectations going forward. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, Ty left the New Hampshire game, or one of the New Hampshire games with an injury. Do you have an update on him? Uh, he won't be playing tomorrow night. 
So he's out of the lineup tomorrow night. Is it an injury that – do you expect him to have him back at any point this season? I hope so. It, it, you know, I, I haven't been told that it's season ending. So, you know, uh, I think we're just taking it one day at a time. But I'm hoping to get him back at some point. What about the rest of the lineup? How's your health there? Uh, so far, so good for today. Go ahead, Randy. Yeah, uh, one follow-up, Cap, to how you guys are working on, you know, I guess just putting the puck in the net more. What are some things we could look for? Uh, when you guys are clicking well and and, and you're scoring like you know you can, uh, what does that look like? I think uh, we're playing with pace. I think that um, we're, we're getting volume, you know, and, and traffic to the net. I think one of the areas uh, – Sometimes maybe we're we're waiting too long for that perfect shot. Sometimes you just got to get it off quick, you know, and, and you can surprise goalies that way, or that, or it creates a rebound. So I, I think it's volume, Randy, and second and third opportunities. When we're playing well, we're generating second and third opportunities, and uh, we we probably didn't generate enough of those up at New Hampshire. Thank you.